on the way over to Richard's garage. He's gonna paint some doors on his uh, 64 Catalina. So I uh, thought I'd take the shortcut. Because it's more fun than you know, going around on the main drag. And uh, because there's some nice dirt roads up here. Nothing more fun than sliding around the corners on a dirt road. This is where they close it for the winter. The gate was back there. You can't get past this point once the snow starts to fall. There was a car that uh, got down here once and got stuck in the winter and it got buried in the snow and uh, snowmobilers were driving right across the roof and didn't even know it was there until the snow's not, the snow started to melt and they, uh, they have carbide skegs on uh, snowmobiles and they were cutting through the roof. The car was in rough shape by the time they uh, pulled it out. Whee. faster if I wasn't holding the camera, but I ain't gonna mount it on the hood or anything like that. Uh, it would be fun if I had a faster car. Slide around the corners and all that. So, it's like somebody was playing around in the dirt. side and I still haven't found it all these years later. back on the pavement and I'll, I'll shut it off for now. Here we are. 
country ta tractor and auto service. I guess that'll work, huh? No, as long as I weigh, you know, weigh it out on both sides. I guess uh, that's why I get the lift on there. Uh, um, help me out with it. <laughs> are you going to tape off the uh, outside of the door so you don't get yeah. overspray on them? I've got um, masking plastic. Oh, I was going to yeah. just kind of drape it over. I've got a, a mask right to here where the door panels are. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really cover them over. This is the old Catalina. Minus the doors. Huh. Oh, hey, yeah, there's the uh, MG. TD, 1953, replica. I guess it got wet the other day. I had that tropical storm come through and uh, all he had on it was a tarp to cover it up. All right, well, instead of putting them back to back, we're trying them separately. So we got the driver's door here back door here. Oh, that's the passenger's front door. And rear. The uh, driver's front door is going to need some work. So it's going to be a little while before the paint flies. I should have brought over that roll of uh, masking paper. What's that? I should have brought over the roll of masking paper. Yeah. So you could mask the uh, finish sides of the doors off. I think if I drape them to some, drape some of that plastic to some extent, just, I can bring it right down to the base. And yeah. I'm going to outline. Yeah, where tape the it right there. Nice, and then I'll put the yeah. I got a big roll of those. Yeah, that'll probably work. Uh, Rather than try and mess with newspapers and everything else. Yeah. It's kind of funny when I did the uh, country flyer wagon head, it, it was a big advertisement. Yeah. Just the whole side of it where the wood grain was. Oh, yeah. It was all newspaper articles. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish I had taken a picture of it. It would have been neat. <laughs> yeah. Well, I painted my international travel all after that accident. And I taped off the windows with uh, newspapers, and one of them was the funny papers, the funny pages. And, and the uh, wind came up. right after I sprayed the paint on. The wind blew the uh, paper off the window, and it oh, yeah. fell down. And when I peeled it off, all the pictures were stuck to the door. From the <laughs> <laughs> so I had a comic strip on the door. I probably should have left it just to be different, but uh, but I wound up spraying over it. But uh, it was funny, but all the all the printing was backwards. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I might do that on a car just for the hell of it. Maybe on a rat rod. Yeah. I know. So what if it's backwards? Tell them it's <laughs> mirror writing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, I've seen some pretty neat stuff like that, like using a using a fishing net and painting the vehicle and taking yeah. the fishing net back off. So 
So I made decals for uh, motorcycle gas tanks by uh, yeah. painting a clear coat over a magazine page, yeah. glossy magazine. I used, um, what was her name, Wicked Wanda from the back of Penthouse magazine. It was a cartoon character. <laughs> uh, and she wore these leather uh, dominatrix outfits. And I did a picture of her. And I sprayed about 10 coats of clear over the magazine and then I soaked it in uh, water and I peeled all the paper off the back and all I had was the picture stuck to the, uh, huh. the clear coat. And I sprayed clear on the gas tank and then just stuck it on there, the whole thing, clear coat and all. And sprayed a few coats over it and sealed it in. Mm -hmm. um, all the uh, white color went away. Yeah. You know, the white was all just the uh, page it was printed on. Yeah. So what I did was I sprayed a cloud of gold on the gas tank where I was going to stick it on there. Wow. And that way the gold showed through where the white was supposed to be. Huh. But if you're going to do it right, you're going to do it with white. But it yeah. depends, you know, those pictures, it didn't matter. It looked just as good with the gold. Wow. So what about the door jams? They look kind of messy. I know, I gotta see it. Oh, you're going to sand all this down and paint this too? Yeah. Yep, it's going to be a multi-million dollar vehicle when you're done. <laughs> no, uh, I wish, but no. Yeah. <laughs> so you could just buy a house outright. But yeah. Yeah, maybe you can get enough for a down payment on a piece of land or something. Yeah. Well, we can sell a few things first. Save it away. Yeah. here again uh, had to make a beer run this is uh, the road I'm on is called uh, Porter Road and it doesn't go to Porter it ends right here this is the dead end and right if I go straight it's uh, Farnsworth Road and so is this way this is also Farnsworth Road uh, it was named after Philo Farnsworth who used to live down the other end of it he had his own uh, power station. He, uh, he's the inventor of probably the most important invention of the 20th century, and nobody knows who he is. Uh, he invented the CRT. Anybody know what that is? Cathode ray tube. In other words, he invented television. Uh, and he never got any credit for it, and he died penniless. Um, I went to a lecture from, uh, with his uh, widow and his son widow's gone now but the son's still living down there um, she used to work with him in the lab making uh, vacuum tubes they used to blow their own glass tubes and uh, this was before transistors so everything was tubes and, uh, so it's one of our local his uh, legends there local history I figure if those uh, guys on the uh, American Pickers can include historical data, I can too. So uh, I think we're coming to... Yeah, there's the guy that wants to impeach the mayor or the governor and elect, re-elect Trump and Susan Mills. Coming along pretty good. have been filled with fiberglass and primered and ready to go. Oh, looks like the outside of that door needed some work. <laughs>
open the doors, it's going to look just as nice as the outside. trouble I had with using <laughs> plastic was when I painted the first coat on there it got all over the plastic and then when I went back with the second coat it would blow all the paint off of the uh, plastic and it would uh, stick to the new paint or right. all over the place right. but this is special made plastic yeah, hopefully it, it won't do that yeah. the auto body it will adhere to it yeah so I've, I've actually done both I've gone through and sprayed it and then, and then clear it afterwards, and it's been yeah. Hot. So that's what I'm trying to do now. It's just I yeah. got it all masked off, and I took some sandpaper and went over it. I got a little glue on there. I got to clean it off. Mm -hmm. I got to rough up in here a little bit. Yeah. I remember a friend of mine had me do some body work. And I was doing the body work on his truck, and his wife came down with a bucket of dirty water, yeah. and a sponge, white truck down real good. And then all of a sudden, he came out with a spray gun and paint. Yeah. After she just washed it with muddy and water, started, and started spraying it out once it was dry. And I was like, "What are you doing?" Because <laughs> they didn't sand it; <laughs> they just threw the paint right over it. <laughs> Gee. Yeah. Yeah. He had said he had painted before. He didn't say he had. He never freaking sanded it. Yeah. Oh. You gotta sand it first. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Well. There we go. We got both doors hanging. Both front doors and the back doors are hanging on the ends. And it's almost ready to go. All except for Richard's got to go home and feed the kids before he can spray the paint. So I guess I'm gonna. I brought some beers. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe you needed one. Yeah, I probably want to have one in a little while. I'll go get them. People. Richard's just bought this thing for 300 bucks to replace his Subaru. I don't know who these people are that are just coming in. Maybe they're customers. I don't know if it's safe to crack open a beer while they're here. These people, somebody's supposed to be here? Uh, well, what it is is they're off. They're leaving off the car? Leaving the car, leaving the car off. Oh, for tomorrow, huh? Yeah. yeah, here she comes with the key. How are you? Good, good. I can't get it to stop. <laughs> I keep pushing the button, but it's still going. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I gotta go down to Salem and visit with Wayne, and we're gonna go visit his son, Roger. Oh, yeah? And his new uh, mixed race baby. <laughs> grand, grand baby. Yeah. And uh, personally, I could care less what color woman he's married to. Yeah. Because uh, I happen to like black girls. So. <laughs> but then I grew up in a black neighborhood for yeah. a few years. So I had a lot of friends that were black people. And. 
a lot of the black girls were kind of always hitting on me, but I didn't understand what was going on because I was in the eighth grade. Oh, yeah. And I thought they were just picking on me, but I think they had the hots for me. But... <laughs> He's like 50 50. Yeah. But I know this this came out of here and that was some of it was pre mixed anyway, so I just kind of oh. dumped it back in if I was done using it. So oh. I only put so much in. So. Yeah. Yeah, they have the viscosity cup so you fill it with paint and then you time how long it takes for it to drip out. I've never used one of them. <laughs> drip out? Oh my god. Yeah, it's got a little <laughs> hole in the bottom. It's a little, little cup, and you dip it in the paint, pull it out, and then you time it and see how long it takes to empty. Oh, just so, to determine on how much is mixed. Yeah, in so it. if it uh, takes too long, it means you got to add a little thinner. And if it uh, and if it uh, comes out too quick, it means you got too much thinner. And uh, I think that's pretty good. Light coat first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, when I was working for Steve at the body shop, we had plastic cups that go on the spray gun with the plastic covers. Oh, and less waste. Yeah, and then when you're Not done. Not really. Huh? Not really. Because you're throwing away the freaking mixing, <laughs> the bowl, too. Yeah, you throw the whole thing away when you're done. Yeah. David, uh, one guy was doing that at McDonald Motors just before I started. Yeah. It's so that you can throw it away without calling it, uh, you know, contaminating the ground. Yeah. But even though it's dry, it's still lead. Yeah. But if there's still lead in it, then there's still lead in it. Wherever you throw it, it's contaminating. Yeah. <laughs> no matter if it's yeah. dry or wet. Yeah. I always used to pour my extra paint out on a junk car and let it pour it all over the roof of the hood or something and let it run down and dry on there. So then it's contaminating when I junk the car, whoever crushes it. <laughs> I should have brought a mask with me. Can you turn this radio down a little bit? Can you turn the music down? I'm not supposed to have music. Oh, on. yeah. I don't you know. Turn it if you want. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. Let me hold that. You've got to turn it off. Uh, they call it a copyright infringement if I, uh, oh, yeah. you know, if I, I play hear. someone else's music on my videos. I gotta find a band that'll do some. You're not getting paid for it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta find a band that'll record some music that I can use over my videos. Yeah. And then I gotta make sure it's original music too, not something that they're covering from somebody else who already has a copyright.
Don't get much yet. Yeah. Don't get much coverage with that. It's pretty thin. So the second coat looks better than the first coat. It seems to be covering up better. Let's check the other side. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Still need the clear coat. But, uh, That's good. <laughs> yeah.
Mix up more. Let's shake this a little bit. It's been a while. Yeah. This is a good one. We call it light sandstone again. I said, now for the fair part. <laughs> I'm yeah. talking to the camera, not you. Now it's a station. I'm going to paint my lens. I'm going to have to wash the camera down the paint thinner when I'm done.